This video is sponsored by Blair's Wire Bonsai Trees. For unique and personalized pieces of beauty and artwork, check out the link in the description and use coupon code BeastlyGamer for 10% off your order. What's up guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about crazy people doing dumb shit. Have you guys ever stolen anything from a Walmart? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have stolen something from Walmart, I'm willing to guarantee you didn't do it in the way of this guy. Christopher Caldwell, 36 year old Floridian, uh, who <laughs> took stealing from Walmart in a completely new and very hip direction. Now, if you guys are as old as me or even music buffs, you'd probably know who MC Hammer is. He was a 90s rap artist who had a very per peculiar or particular style of dance. He wore these crazy big parachute pants and he would dance around on the stage and do all kinds of crazy stuff. It was really big. It was very entertaining for its time. Anyway, this Florida man, Christopher Caldwell, 36 years old. A year older than me, which means he's damn sure old enough to know not to do this shit. Somehow he got a hold of some of these MC Hammer pants. Now, how he got his hands on some MC Hammer pants, I can't tell you because I have no idea how the hell he did it. But when he got these pants, he looked at him and he said, Now my dreams will finally come true. Now I can I can finally you know reach the peak, the pinnacle of life that I've always wanted. Now you're asking, what do he want to do, be a dancer? No, he didn't want to be a dancer. He wanted to steal from Walmart. So he took these MC Hammer parachute pants to a local Walmart in Florida and he proceeded to go back into the electronics department and somehow, I don't know how he did it because when you go inside Walmart and you go to electronics, all the PlayStation 4s and Xbox Ones and video game consoles are behind a glass case and you usually have to get an associate to open it up for you. Somehow, Mr. Caldwell here got his hands on a PS4 that wasn't behind a glass case and he proceeded to go back to an area where he thought he was by himself, which is stupid because you're in Walmart, you're never by yourself, and stick a PlayStation 4 box inside his MC Hammer parachute pants. That's right. He stuck them in between his legs, stuck this giant box between his legs, and he proceeded to think he was going to get away with it. Now let's do a little bit of math here, okay? The PlayStation 4's box is 18 and a half inches long. It's 13 and a half inches tall and it's four and a half inches thick. That is really a big fucking box. Now, I know hammer pants, you can conceal a lot in there, but a PlayStation 4 box, it seems like that would be very obvious that there's something incredibly wrong with you as you're walking around through Walmart. But Christopher Caldwell, he said, this isn't good enough. PlayStation 4 is not going to be what I need to get by itself. I need to grab some accessories. So he proceeded to walk around the electronics department and pick up PS4 accessories, controllers, HDMI cords, PlayStation cameras, stuff like that. And he proceeded to walk out of the store. What happened? You already know what happened because I'm telling you about it. This Nimrod got caught and he was charged with a felony uh, <laughs> because he's a fucking idiot. This guy is a complete buffoon. To do something like that, just outwardly stupid, uh, means I don't know if he has mental health issues or what. I don't think anyone I know honestly would have done anything or even thought it was possible to do anything like that. Going into a Walmart, first of all, there's 30 cameras aimed at you the entire time. And you really can't do anything inside of Walmart and feel like you're secure in your own space because there's a camera like in every aisle looking at every person at all times. And so Christopher Caldwell, this old school gangster who got his, got his hands on some 90s hammer pants and went to a Walmart with a dream, shit turned into a nightmare real quick. Fool's in jail. I don't know what's going to happen to him. Hopefully he learns his lesson. Of course he's going to be laughed at and ridiculed for forever. This is not something you can unthink. Everybody who knows this guy is going to laugh their ass off. He's going to become a meme without even people seeing him. It's a meme just thinking about what this guy's done. You guys let me know in the comments, what's the craziest thing you've ever tried to get away with at a store? Did you succeed? Did you get caught? Let me know in the comments below and become a beast and subscribe today. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.